Right, today I'm going to be doing an ND filter test for the Mavic 3 Pro. So over here you can see we've got the ND8, 16, 32 and 64. So I'm first of all going to do some footage just in auto, straight out the box. And then I'll be comparing them with each ND filter. So first of all, let's get the Mavic 3 Pro up and just film in automatic straight out the box. And then we'll switch over to ND8 and work his way up. Here we go. So to change the filter on the Mavic 3 Pro, be very careful, just grab hold of the camera, twist it anti-clockwise, and you'll see it'll pop straight off. So first of all we'll be using ND8, and to simply attach that, just find the three grooves, slot it in there, twist clockwise, and it snaps into position. And as you can see, that's on there nice and secure. Attach ND16. Again, it's just the same, just three slots and twist clockwise. And there you've got ND16 attached. Attach the ND32, find the three slots, twist it clockwise, that's ND32 ready. Finally, we've got ND64. Again, find the three slots, twist clockwise, and ND64 is ready. So when you buy the Mavic 3 Pro Combo, you get the four ND filters with it. So as you can see with the Mavic 3 Pro, it's got three lenses on there. Now as you can see with these ND filters for the Mavic 3 Pro, it's going to cover all of the three lenses. Just be sure when changing ND filters on any kind of drone, always power it down first. Because when the drones are switched on, the gimbal's powered up and you don't want to be grabbing hold of that as you're going to damage the gimbal. So every time I change ND filters, 
I make sure I power it down on the drone and the remote then I can change them without any damage there we go now do keep in mind with the Mavic 3 Pro no matter which ND filter you choose you want to be keeping the ISO as low as it can go which is 100 you want to be keeping your shutter speed twice that of your frame rate for an example I'm filming in 4k 30 so my shutter speed set at 60 and then on your aperture you'll only be able to change that on the standard 24 millimeter lens you won't be able to change that on the other two lenses at times three and times seven so on the aperture on the standard lens at 24 millimeter no matter which ND filter you have on I find the Mavic 3 Pro does an excellent job whilst in auto so with these ND filters the higher the ND filter you go the more you're gonna have to tweak your settings for instance on the ND64 I had to tweak the ISO to 200 because at 100 especially on the times 7 lens it was just far too dark and just want to know on the times 3 and times 7 on the Mavic 3 Pro you'll not be able to adjust the aperture you'll only be able to do that on the 24 millimeter standard lens so some of the settings you will have to change depending which ND filter you use but just as a general rule your shutter speed twice that of the frame rate again for an example 4k 30 I'm filming in so the shutter speed will be set at 60 the ISO has been at 100 on ND8 ND16 and 32 so I just had to adjust the ISO there to 200 on the ND64 so when you're using the times 3 and times 7 lenses you'll find especially with the ND64 the footage is going to go real dark there you've no control over your aperture whatsoever so it's okay to just bump that ISO up to 200 which I've done as you'll see from the footage and then it becomes more usable so for the people who's just starting out using ND filters just so it's not too confusing for you there depending what drone or camera you're using there just go into pro mode or manual set your shutter speed twice that of your frame rate keep your ISO as low as possible you may have to adjust that depending on which ND filter you're using and then on your aperture you'll be able to tweak that to which you think's best so if you apply the correct ND filter to your drone as you can see from the footage your footage is going to look a lot more better and sharper than if you wasn't using an ND filter I hope this video has been useful for you so as always thanks for watching be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and bye for now